the police officer just don't sit in the other one. So everybody caucusing out here, trying to get a vote, somebody. Even my son decided to show up. And the winner is, I don't know, I don't know yet. Hillary. Who should win? Sanders or Clinton? Hillary, yeah, that's who I voted for as well. We'll see if my vote has a voice or who knows. A lot of people here though. DZ Beckel, what's going on? He left. She's had her problems, but Hillary is definitely most qualified. I totally agree. I totally agree. Who doesn't have their problems in politics, right? Trump Boo, you right. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, I need Representative Kirby up front. It's gonna get all real now. How fun! We don't do this okay. in New Hampshire. That sounds good. What Megan, do you, can you, you guys do? That? What do you guys do? Yeah. All right, thank you. What do you guys do in New Hampshire? Just vote? Well, I think we're still going to vote, but this is a process. I've never done it before, but I think that we vote, then we get so many delegates that go into something else. I don't, I don't really know. My mom encouraged me to do this, so I'm doing it. What's up, Harley 5-2? It's odd, this, this caucus. Yeah, they have them throughout the state, so this is like a big deal here in Washington. Every Everybody's doing it. Case Coke, what's going on, Case Coke? Fun? I guess it's fun, but I don't know exactly because I haven't really done anything. We just stand here, I wrote my information on a piece of paper, and well, I'm here now. You got uh, all kinds of people. You got Bernie Sanders people, Hillary people, and I'm sure there's people out here that don't know who they want to go for, but yeah, I don't know. It's crazy though. I just want to know how much I can yell or just the voice. Well, you're keeping us informed. I'm trying to. I'm gonna listen to both sides. They kind of already made my post. You on the Bernie side? No, I'm not. But doesn't mean I won't listen. We need some cooperation in here. You know, I think you're probably well aware of the fact we're getting a little crowded. We have people who are looking for precinct tables and they can't find them. So if you have your precinct table numbers, how about hold them up so that some of our lost brethren can find their location? Bernie's a good man, honest man. I won't say he's not to you neither because I really haven't paid attention, but okay. more or less because of familiarity, I'm going for Hillary, I suppose, but who knows? 601. I see a chair. I figured. I see about three or four signs out. There shouldn't be three or four signs up when I say 601. How's the turnout compared to previous years? This is my first year, so I can't really, I can't comment on it. How come I got a 601? I don't know. 601 is Hillary's better. 602. Uh, yeah. Uh, 603. 604. 
605, 606, 607, a liar. Why is she a liar? 608, 609, 610. Aren't all politicians liars though? 612, 613, 614, 615, 616, 617, 618, why is she a liar? You didn't tell me why she's a liar. 621. Oh. What are you? 621. What's up? 09 Candace 82. Oh, it's back here. Okay. There it is. 622. Hillary or Sanders? Who should I go for? 623. 624. Go Bernie. Why Bernie? Give me a reason why I should go for Bernie. I haven't heard anybody tell me I should. 625 is down here. Joe Keen, okay. what's going on? Six thirty-three. I voted Sanders in Illinois. That's good. Six thirty-three. Did he win that? Yeah. Feel the burn. I like that. Feel the burn. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, Down in the corner. nobody else can really be like. Six thirty-six. Down here. Six thirty-seven. Six thirty-eight. Six thirty-nine. Did Bernie win Illinois? How was Bernie doing? Six thirty-nine. Um, I can't say because we haven't started yet. We got maybe about 10 minutes and I guess we'll go through the whole, whole process. But, uh, 643. I mean, so far, I think it's, it'll probably be Washington. I mean, I'm going to be honest, he should win Washington. So that's the, that's the way he cares about people's education and wants everyone to be able to go to college. Well, I think everybody really wants everybody to go to college, but... Who's gonna be able to pay for it? If I did not, you know, if I lied the families of the soldiers killed in Benghazi attack, said it was a video. Well, outside of that video, what else? I mean, just a small, small lie, right? OG check, what's going on? Um, all politicians lie, and there's some big down hazmat, what's going on? Here, I'll move. No problem. I see you, Leo. Jocelyn, what's going on? This is crazy, though. It's good to see people support their, their politicians. They thought it was a video. Stop watching Fox News. Fox News. I have family in Gig Harbor and Tacoma. Where are you at, Candace? Are you in Washington? We're here in Tacoma right now, actually. Rashawn Green, what's going on? I say listen to each candidate's representative speak and maybe it'll help you decide. Well, yeah, I mean, like I said, um, I think for the familiarity of you hear the name Clinton, you kind of can put it together. Um, Sanders, he did, he just gained a lot of track in a few last few months, so that's good, but I think a lot of people are just going with the name. And then you hear people say, uh, well, I'm not voting for Trump, so you kind of got to go lesser of two evils if you really want it, right? Chad, what's up? Everybody's got their own views. Don't do this, do this. I hate this person, I hate that person. And then they, uh, you know, at least if you vote, you can go out there and actually say you, you did it. We are lucky as a country to get to meet all the candidates. I ain't met anybody, but uh, I mean, you have the ability to actually uh, listen to them and, and get an educated view and uh, go from there. It's not bad though. It's crazy though. I wish more people would be passionate all the time. I meet them in, in uh, New Hampshire. Name recognition is a poor reason to vote for someone, in my opinion, but if many do. I suppose. Yeah, I'm not saying that that's the right way to do it, but it is a way. Um, if it's really hard to find a very non-biased opinion of somebody's views, unless you hear it directly from that person. So a lot of people do research, but is that research being, um, let's start at 10 o'clock. Is that research done by those people or is it 
very pro one person and the negative other people. What's going on, Vlad? You know what I mean? I mean I'm trying to be very, who can be most pro veteran? That's what I am. I'm a veteran now, so. Yeah, that's right. You got to actually, you don't vote. You can't really say anything, right? I was Bernie's people there. Uh, there's a few people out here. There's quite a bit, actually. You got the Bernie signs on the table here. Uh, so, I mean, so far, it's going pretty good. Wouldn't, nobody, they're everywhere, you see. Bernie's this. He's definitely got a lot of support here in Washington. So, I mean, um, Bernie is co-chair of veterans. I mean, that's what I like. Um, I just don't know if I want to be able to spend all my tax dollars to support everybody else. You know what I mean? So, and that's kind of where the people throw the word socialist out there. I'm not necessarily saying he is, but that is a socialistic view is to support everybody with everybody's tax dollars where they may not support them themselves. So... I don't know. You can never deny Bernie is a great guy. Well, I mean, so far, you may not fall in a tax bracket that will increase. Yeah, that big word may not. I mean, you can't really guarantee that I won't. And I say, you know, right now, but it's, who knows? I mean, that's not the only reason, but I mean, as a veteran, I know that's my big thing. Which candidates can best support uh, veterans and their needs so it's kind of weird it's good to have both sides of it though I'm actually a listener not just gonna go in there and, and do my thing know what's going on I have a very important announcement to make but Art, what's going on who are you voting for right now if I do vote I'm gonna vote for uh, right I'm gonna vote for Hillary, hall, but uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that I won't. I mean, I have until obviously until Thank November you. to decide. But Bernie helped pass the most comprehensive veterans bill. Yay. Average people say 45% with Bernie. Uh, vote for Bernie. Well, I mean, I don't know. Vote Bernie. Surfing warriors, Trump. No, Trump, get out of here with that crap. That's just nonsense. That man spews nothing but nonsense. He, hears, he says what you want to hear, and then when you don't, he feels like he's got you, he's got you. Take the, the showboating out of it better than socialism. I, I don't know about that. That man doesn't really know much about nothing other than what he wants to hear under 20. So it will not increase. Well, I won't be making 250K, so I should be good. Name one successful country under socialism today. Uh, I guess you got me there. I don't really follow that stuff, though. I can tell you this much, though. I ain't voting for Trump. I'd write myself in before I did that. Norway. People feeling the burn. I don't know. Who's feeling the burn around here? Denmark. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that are doing, doing it. Sweden, everybody. That man's got a lot of support though. He was in safe he was at uh, Seattle yesterday at Safe Cool Field. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but he definitely had a lot of uh, he had a lot of support. I mean the lines were pretty long. Um, that's good though. Hashtag Bernie Sa Birdie? Birdie Sanders? Twenty thousand people? What's twenty thousand people? That, was that yesterday? Oh yeah, that definitely was. That's cool though. Yeah. That's cool though. I'm like glad. I'm glad that people are actually able to uh, support, measure the head, measure the hands. Uh, they haven't, we got about maybe like five minutes before. Uh, once that happens, we'll go through our first, our first voting, I guess. That's what they said. I've never done this before, so I can't speak exactly on what they're going to do. But I'm going to listen here in a few minutes and we feel the burn here on the moon. Nice. It's cool though. I'm glad, uh, I mean, not everybody's not going to agree on everybody, but, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, if you're a Democrat and, you know, the other one doesn't get in, you should still support your party and still vote. It may not be world powers, but we value happiness and they do very well. I don't know. You know will this passion, though, go away after the election? That's the question. I mean, people are, this is kind of the hot thing and 
every four years or so we get this, right? So can't really deny the the attention that this is getting. I mean, it makes the capitalism and socialism go around. It's not full blown socialism. That's the misconception. You're right. There's a lot of misconceptions out there, though. But, I don't know. I think we're about to start here soon. We should. I don't know. Yeah, I got like a minute. We can get our first voting under the way. It's 1029, so we're going to get started soon, all right? I want to make sure we're not going to go on our own, because if we're all going to do it at the same time, I want to make sure we at least get it done. So just stand by for my voice and some procedure. All right, thank you. We're about to figure out what this procedure is all about. A beautiful, colorful room of America's people. That's right, man. And you got everybody out here, so I mean, that's always a good thing. It's uh, exciting to know that people are willing to get up on a weekend and actually go out there and do something because my mom called me and was like, Are you gonna go? I was like, I don't know. Who's voting for We're about to find out right now, hasn't it? I think we are. I'll give you like a. I don't know. This is just our, our little precinct here. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that's where we. Where we, where we live in this area. But there's, I think there's 40 precincts out here or something similar to that. Maybe even more than that, but uh. Guys, I'm gonna if I sit in the middle of the table so most of you can hear me. I don't know if the table's stable, but I imagine it is. <laughs> right now, can you all hear me? Who, wait, wait. At this table, keep your hands down, right? Who else is here for 639? 639, if you're not at the table. Who else is here for 639? 639. We're getting started. Are you 639? All right. Okay, great. Let's see. All righty. Great. Um, we're going to get started. 10:30. Uh, I'm going to read the caucus script. So you know I'm being as fair as possible. All right. Uh, the precinct caucus will be called to order no sooner than 10:30 a.m. Option of A. Does have a cool phone, does PCO who will serve as chair. Because I am the PCO in office prior to February 26th. 2016, I shall chair this PC caucus. I'm just going to go by script, all right? I was appointed in September after I moved on place. 628, where are you? 628. So a caucus is on. So it's 628. Who wants to be the party of the What's his badges? Precinct 628. Very pro. Where are you? Uh, Hillary. He's a veteran too though, so that's cool. Alright, in the back. Hi DJ. Yeah. High five DJ. What's going on? Yeah. Alright. Step two, are you ready? Can you all hear me? 69, can you hear me? Alright. How are you? I'm Julian Wheeler. Just by the way, introduce myself. My wife Sarah. We'll, we'll try and do inspections, you know in due course, all right? Step two, volunteer request. Then Precinct 620. Right there, right there. This guy's like interrupting everything. It's kind of annoying. We're here all day, so don't worry. We're not rushed, all right? I don't want to be here all day, though. Including tinkers. Can you hear me? All right. In order to elect Democrats, we must work harder and smarter to encourage our neighbors to vote this year. We need your help. Please sign up to be a campaign volunteer with the Washington State Democrats when you sign in for your precinct caucus. Uh, you should still have a seat on you like this. It's yeah, really indicate, that's mine. Right? I don't care. To, uh, how long does this cost? Uh, they say it takes all day. It can. I hope not, though. I'm not staying here all day. U.S. Senator, Governor, and Democrats up and down the ballot. Up and down the whole ballot, right? If you sign up, you'll be contacted by an organizer with uh, the state party. All right? And it says for me, step three, check to make sure everyone is completely assigned in sheet. Make sure that all caucuses, make sure all of you have attended the sign-in sheet. Have all of you attended, excuse me, have all of you attendees completed the sign-in sheet. What sign-in sheet is that? No, I know yours is down here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Raise your sign-in sheet. All well, these people. Who doesn't have a sign-in sheet? Well, we all have a sign-in sheet. All right, I'll make sure we're all included. Explanation of the purpose of the caucus. All right. Who can, can you hear me? Can you all hear me? If you don't know the caucus, he's you about to learn right, right now. The number of delegates allotted to our precinct is on the upper left, upper right corner of our precinct caucus envelope. 
Eight. You see that number? Eight. Eight All delegates. Right. The number of delegates allotted to a precinct is on the All right, we got an announcement. It's 612, or they're moving into a classroom. Hey, that's a great one. Person here works here at the school, by. so he's got access to, to classroom go. 612. Any other teachers here from Baker? <laughs> you guys, uh, Horror classroom. Would anyone object if we try to move to a classroom? Would anyone they object? Have a teacher with them right I know, I know. Well, you know, but at least they do have access. I'll be, I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> this is crazy. What in what archaic process? Fascinating though. How would you change it if it was to be archaic? What would you say? Just like a send in vote text? We're in the millennial age now. We can send in text messages, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want to call, right? This is a way to prove that, you know, only one person can do it, right? They're looking into it. All right? Very political answer there. Okay. The number, thank you. I can hear your voice, by the way. This 29th Legislative District Precinct Caucus to order. I am calling the 29th yeah, Legislative that's my son. I figured I'd bring him out here. Precinct District Caucuses to order. Can you hear me? Okay. My name is Walt Wasted, and I have been appointed to convene this meeting as the area coordinator. The other half of the 29th is meeting out at Spenaway Lakes High School as we are right now. We will begin the 2016 precinct caucuses with the Pledge of Allegiance, and I have asked our senior representative in the state legislature, uh, Senator Steve Conway, to lead us to the Pledge of Allegiance. I ain't heard this in a while. If you will stand, thank you. I ain't done this in some years now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, I still remember it. That's good. Thank you, Senator Conway. I now have a message from the State Party Chair that reads as follows. Thank you for joining us today for the 2016 Washington State Democratic Party caucuses. We are here, we are here for a couple of important reasons. First, we are here to cast our votes in the process to determine who will be the Democratic nominee for the Office of President of the United States. We are here to have our voices heard and our voice, votes counted. Second, we are gathering to reject the ugly and divisive politics of the Republican Party and its front runners, and Their policies and programs in no way reflect the values and the vision of Washington State. We are Democrats because we believe in a party that fights for inclusion, not exclusion. That's right. Justice, not prejudice, and opportunity, not opportunism. There you go. We as Democrats are fighting for opportunity and equality for everyone, no matter their race, gender, or sexual orientation. We believe in having an economy with a strong middle class where workers share in the wealth we are creating as a nation. Thank you for coming, and I urge you to stay involved this year as we work to ensure our next president is a Democrat. Re-elect Governor Jay Inslee and Senator Patty Murray, retake the Senate, keep the House majority, and elect Democrats up and down the ticket as we fight for the Democratic values and visions we share. Years in solidarity, Jackson Raven, Chair of the Washington State Democratic Party. There you go. ourselves a big hand for getting here today. There we go. The last time I had this 
first opportunity was 2008. How many of you were at the precinct caucuses in 2008? Awesome. A lot of people showed up since then. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Obama people came out that year. We put 1,776 people in the McGavick Center at Clover Park Technical College. You think we're crowded today? We were crowded that day too. Anyway, let's get on with business. The purpose of these caucuses is to elect delegates and alternates who will attend both the legislative district caucuses and the county convention. This is the first tier of a three-tier process for electing Washington State's delegates to the Democratic National Convention. Any resolutions you have brought with you today will be collected at your precinct caucus and forwarded to the appropriate county convention. This is a meeting where the following precincts will caucus. Do you want me to read those precincts off no. again or are you satisfied with the first one? Okay. Real Jake, what's going on? This is uh, our precincts, the ones that we read off, will caucus to elect delegates and alternates to the 29th Legislative District Caucus and the Pierce County Convention. If you are not registered in any of the precincts I announced, and you are, you are at the wrong location, uh, please go to the information table to find the location of the precinct caucuses you should be attending. The information table is over there, but since all those caucuses are starting right now, the chances of you getting there in time to participate are probably not very good. Uh, in order to elect Democrats, we must work harder and smarter to encourage our neighbors to vote this year. We need your help. Please sign up to be a campaign volunteer with the Washington State Democrats Coordinated Campaign when you sign in for your precinct caucus. We will be organizing on a neighborhood level to get more votes for President, U.S. Senator, Governor, and Democrats up and down the ballot. If you signed up, you will be contacted by an organizer with the campaign. Only registered voters in the precinct may vote, although others may participate in the discussion. In order to vote, a person must complete a sign-in sheet saying that she he, is a Democrat and state their you preference get, for president or indicate uncommitted. A 17-year-old who will be eligible to vote on November 8, 2016 is a registered voter for the purposes of these rules. The precinct caucus may not convene earlier than 10.30. The caucus may not adjourn earlier than 11. No registration fee is required in order to participate in the precinct caucuses, but donations for the legislative district or county party organizations will be accepted. Donations help to pay the cost of hosting caucuses and conventions. And as a footnote, in the packets there should be a blank envelope and when if you do donate please make sure to put your name your address and the amount on there because we have to report this to the public disclosure commission if you donate over one hundred dollars we need your employer's name okay yeah, or you can do like I do, put me tired down. Uh, that takes care of it. Proxy votes are not Wet, allowed. Band-aid. In matters not specific to the cover, rules of order will be Very hard. I hate some right now. The Democratic Party has a commitment to include historically underrepresented people in the party by virtue of race, ethnicity, age, sexual orientation, or disability. We encourage full participation by all in the delegate selection process and in all party affairs. Please complete the ethnicity, LGBTQ, disability, veteran, and information, union information on the sign-in sheet so that we can assess how well various groups 
who are represented today. We hope that those of you who are members of racial minority groups, LGBT, youth, and persons with disabilities will seek to represent the candidates that you are aligned with to participate at the next level of the caucus and convention cycle. Any resolutions you have brought with you today will be collected at the precinct so. caucus and forwarded to the appropriate county convention. Have pre precincts gather in their assigned locations and begin filling out sign-in sheets contained in their precinct caucus packets. Come on, dude. Do you take forever? For those of you who are interested in one of the 29th District Legislative District Caucus in the County of Convention is, if you're interested in being a delegate, Hi. What's up? it is Joe on the back of the delegate and alternates uh, certification, which you will get at your caucus. And uh, anyway, it's also publicized on the Pierce County Democrats website. Uh, for those of you who are so inclined, and uh, is it after 11 o'clock? How many people are there? Shh. Yeah. Nope. I'll let you be the judge of that because there's a lot of people. Anyway, we have reached the point where what we want you to do now is your, you know, your precinct, break into your precincts. All right, we've been here for there this whole time now. There will be a precinct commitment to chair it or you will elect a chair. Now, if you have an elected PCO, I'm an elected PCO in 620, I would automatically chair 620 unless I decline to do so. If there is not a, an elected precinct committee officer to chair it, you must select a chair. The chair then opens the package, and I realize uh, the 25th of right May, I believe they do there. But it's not exactly sure. I don't keep up too much with the Republicans caucus. A script, I do believe there's like the May time frame. And you need to follow that script fairly closely. And that script will then Washington, describe how you very go about Democratic you know, friendly, deciding so how many I don't know how much support or Republicans will put out, but are, who knows? Uh, Provided. Still a good and process then, though. Once that's How's done, Bernie support? You will uh, break into we haven't gotten that far, but it's still as we'll do talk and talk and, and talk and talk and for the talk. purpose of selecting those delegates. So once that's done, we should okay. start to actually On the front of the uh, envelope, there should be a, a big number. Bernie signs, so. This tells you how many delegates total you are authorized. Uh, then after you go through the process, you'll find out how many each candidate is authorized. And so you can, uh, you know, fill in the blanks and say candidate Summers, or Summers. <laughs> Where's my mind at, Steve? Uh, anyway, uh, Bernie Sanders gets so many, Hillary gets so many, I'm committed gets so many, that's also People on there, that uh, front label. Bernie Sanders. And then when you get through, you can fill in the blanks. Uh, let's see. And that's it. At this time, we will recess for the purpose of precinct caucuses. The precinct uh, committee person will take is. charge. I don't even know what that no, means. It's like a language one. I've never seen before. We also need each precinct Sorry, needs a secretary and a tally keeper. They can be one and the same person, the secretary and tally keeper. Uh, and so, anyway, no, 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 people. Open the package, follow the script. Oh, now if it's about to get exciting around boxes, here. Feel free to move down the hallways. Bit, like, as soon as you elect your delegates, uh, yeah, because this is like one of those things you gotta like, man, I don't want to be here all day. I'll support, but I'm not about to be here sitting here listening to some people talk about the same stuff. How many people at the location? Uh, you can use. I'm terrible at these things, but I'm about to listen as you talk. So, there you go. All right. You are on step four. I'm in your way. I'm so sorry. Let's go back to step three. Let's go back to step three. 
Uh, make sure that all copies of candy is complete. The sign -in I don't know if they do or not. Collect the sign in sheets when they are finished out. This is the point where in, when you fill it out <clears throat> on your first, this is the first round, you indicate your pet Will the individual who picked up a set of car keys for a blue Subaru, the owner of that blue Subaru is up here and will like the car keys back. This is where you, the first round, indicate your first presidential preference. But don't fill it all out unless you're. Or 604. Possibly. Fill out your first round. Wow. Right. right back there. All the way in the corner. So fill out your, your sentence sheets, indicate your presidential pre preference now. I'll give you a minute or so. If not, just pass it in to this is our simple spot. Look at that. Now the exciting part begins. It's like. Pass it in. 639. Precinct 639. This is interesting. We're about to figure out where people stand, I guess. Pope Pedro. <laughs> Come November, you can do that. Precinct 639. This is where you fill out your, your first presidential preference. Well, yeah, sign it. Yeah. Did I mention sign it? When I said fill it out, <laughs> that meant sign it. <clears throat> Gotta love Periscope. Get them hearts up, though. Get them hearts going here, too. People okay, can know. Step three. There we go. Step four. No, we did step four. A lot of people. Okay, now this is the part. This is uh, step um, step five. You right? Can you hear me? Okay, all 639 hear me. All right. Appointment of precinct caucus secretary and tally clerk. I will now appoint a secretary to take minutes, and a tally clerk will tally up so. our vote total. All right. Um, does anyone have a burning desire to be a, a secretary? Did you bring any materials? Okay. If no one's raising their hand, uh, Judith here has brought materials for that purpose. Even though she didn't know it, she brought materials for that purpose. Ra Judith, would you, would you be so kind to raise your hand? There we go. Look at that. Uh, I'm now appointing Judith to be our uh, precinct caucus secretary. Now, precinct uh, caucus tally clerk, they could be the same person. Does anyone else, does anyone want to be a tally clerk? Way to go, Judith. Can we have at least Seems one weird. other person? Carol, would you? I'm thinking of. I think I sense where we stand. I so, say would you like to um, switch seats so you both can have two eyes on it? There we go. We'll figure this out. Just so we, we can be objective. Objective. I hear an echo over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And let's thank Carol and Judith. All right. Good job, guys. That's step five. Now, point to check it and take minutes. Give them the official minutes of the precinct caucus. Oh, so I gotta do that. Official minutes of the precinct caucus. This is not a verbatim record, all right? This is just taking note of the main things that happen at this caucus. Judith, I'm gonna put this down. This is the form you fill out for the minutes. Okay. Uh, Control chaos here. All right, that was step five. Step. Okay. Now, did you guys get? I'm gonna read this out. Uh, okay, Judith and uh, Carol. Okay. Um, you have all the sign-in sheets, and you have the circuit affidavit form too, right? There was one I saw. Right. Okay. I'm gonna turn the page. You volunteered. Tally a presidential preference and initial allocation of delegates. At this point, you'll want to make sure that the candidate groupings are together. So, separate them by candidate groupings. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it has a staple on it, so that's it. Great. Yeah, just put it with the grouping of Bernie people. Uh, I happen to read it, so I don't know um, That's step six. Okay, I'm going to read this just to be thorough. Just so you can all hear me. Step six. The tally clerk should use the honey sheet, circuit affidavit form, and the delegate allocation worksheet to determine the preliminary first allocation of delegates for each presidential preference. Ladies and gentlemen, you have your attention to hate to disrupt you, but somebody's card is going to be so delayed. Like the flight number 041, Zulu Zulu Sarni, that's a white R-I-O, 
get a Republican to do this? Crazy. Sucks that person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was on step six. Uh, Natalie Kirk should use the center sheets, surrogate affidavit forms, and a delegate allocation worksheet. This is it. To determine the preliminary first allocation of delegates for each presidential preference, include uncommitted. Uh, make sure that the secretary records this information in the precinct box minutes. Announce the number of delegates and alternates Still undecided. each presidential preference received. And if there are any presidential preferences, not receiving any delegates or alternates. This is going to take a little time. It's it's the uh, arcane mathematical part of it. And uh, if 200 people want to help with the calculations, that would be helpful. I'd be happy uh, to do it. Great. If you could walk around to where they are. Sean, what's uh, yeah. Trying to maintain a proximity here. Uh, thank you very much. God forbid this dude has to move his car. <laughs> it's the calculating part. It's math. It's math. It involves decimals and fractions. So, <laughs> so I have this, uh, these are the instructions, all right? Uh, actually, can you, um, I want to make sure you, all you guys are close together. You don't mind switching seats to someone, or standing behind someone. Bernie was blessed by a bird last night at a rally. He was, that's what I see. It's crazy. How can you not pick him? Well, when Hillary wins nomination, I hope y'all vote her over Trump. Let's go back to the Six. Okay, uh, we're still counting. Let's give it a moment. We're going to find out where we stand as a precinct, how we compare with each other. And let me just say it's great to meet all of our neighbors here, too. Uh, so in case, if I need a ride to Safeway, I, I know I'm covered, right? That's great. Yeah. Awesome. Great. I'm not, sorry about that. I'm not trying to push a product from the same there. Okay, um, let me know. Are you uh, ready to announce? First vote's about to come in right now. Um, Carol, who has a lot of voice? Okay. Um, I can repeat it if they need me. Okay. This will be announcing our uh, announced the number of delegates. Oh, that's uh, not yet. Uh, step six. How many do we have for Bernie? No, it's strictly present only. Twenty-six for Bernie Sanders. All right. And two uncommitted. Two uncommitted. Seven for Hillary Clinton. All right. Now we got to do that delegate allocation worksheet. Uh, column, let's see, uh, I need to hand this over to one of you to do it, or shall I just? We, we actually have. I want to turn this. Um, just heard that. I have torn the to seven. The worksheet. Pro Bernie. Just to make sure. Sorry about the Maverick move there. Okay, in column A, this is this is the steps you're going to follow. You're going to need to take a pen and put numbers in there. In column A, under presidential preference, it means candidate name or uncommitted. Write down the names of the presidential preferences which have support at your piece of pocket. Right, so I know three so far. In any order, as long as you maintain the continuity across the row. In Johnson, what's going on? 1966, what's up? So right now, I think it's uh, 23 to 7 and 2 undecided. 23 for Bernie, 7 for Hillary, 2 undecided. You can hear me, right? I don't want to yell too loud. But you all can hear what, I, what we're doing, right? I'm trying to maintain transparency here. Column B, enter the number of attendees to support each presidential person. I know you all can't see, but can, can some of you see what's happening? Mm -hmm. All right. Learn his policies. Sorry to take too much time doing this, but in column C, 
eligible caucus attendees means the total number of attendees eligible to vote at the precinct caucus. The sum of the numbers in column B. So I'll repeat that because it's going to be the three, the same number three times. Oh, look at the Seems like column a waste C of people's time. Means the total number of attendees. So we have like seven plus two, six. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So Thirty-five and A, B, and C. No, no, no. Doing my part. You're welcome. So it's like can you see the numbers? Yeah. Right now. Um, Taylor or Jordan, it's uh, 23 for Bernie, 7 for Hillary, and 2 undecided. That's just in our precinct, though. So maybe about 20, what was it, like, like 32 people? We did that already, right? Is there any question? Now, just in case, has anyone forgotten to turn in a silent sheet? Is there anything on a table around you in, in our precinct scope? That is the sign of C. Well, the young ladies over here, you have your sign of C to turn in. All right. Great. Just want to make sure. That's column C. Column D. Now, you have these devices on there, right? They have You're welcome. On there. Get out your calculator. Do you have your calculator? I'm already, I'm already working on it. Great. Right. Right. You ready? Right. Are we ready? Column D. Divide column B. By column C. I'll, I'll repeat this. This is this is the meat of it. Column D. Divide column B, column Bravo, by column Charlie. Get that military people? Hey, they said Washington would be very pro um, Bernie, so he should walk away with this so far. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Still very unfamiliar with the whole caucus process with those, but we went around that to 0.74. Yeah, because the two. 0.7. 0.7. We want to round it up to six. Point zero seven would round up to six generally. Yes. Point it would come out perfectly if we did 0, 06, it would come up to 1, so technically that is correct. So it would be by 0.06, and that would come up to 1. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now if you want to clear that hand, uh, these things are falling Now column E, except five, I'm reading this all here, right? Column E, we enter the presidential preferences entered in column A, so we're repeating column A in column E. They're trying to divide stuff. I don't, I don't even know. To be honest with you, rounding it up to the doing some basic math here, I suppose. That's column D. Column F. We entered the decimal number found in column D. Column G, in column G, enter the total number of delegates for this precinct, which is eight. The number will be on the label on the front of the precinct office envelope. <clears throat> All right, and what's the next column? Column H. Column H, enter the product of column F and column G. I'm going to repeat this step in, you know, five, So we are on step eight in column H under the product of column F and column G. So it's F times G equals H. Okay. All right, now the next step is column is nine. We're on step nine, all right? Okay. So we are, this is the math. We are, for this, for this round, we are done with the math. So step nine, each preference receives the whole number of delegates listed in column H. And that, that's not all, but that's not all, it's a long step, it's all the words. 
okay, here's an example. Kalinich, okay, if there are unallocated delegates remaining, these delegates will be allocated to the preferences having the highest remainder, the number after, the decimal point. Ties are broken, to be broken by lot. Enter the number of delegates for each measure of preference in column I. So I'll start again just to make sure we're on the same page here. 